Horses are the ultimate athlete, performing incredible feats. Musculoskeletal systems of modern day sport horses are pushed to their physiological extremes. Whatever the discipline, muscles, tendons, fascia, bone and joints are all put under excessive stress, strain, force and torsion. This can increase the risk of joint damage and osteoarthritis. In this video, I hope to share with you some tips and appropriate exercises that help to reduce the stress and strain on joints. Correct way of going. Good posture and balance whilst carrying the weight of the rider is really important and goes a long way to reduce the stress and strains placed on joints. Walking on roads is good for stimulating and hardening bones, but avoid too much trotting on roads as this increases concussion and jarring. Backing up is a superb exercise to stimulate the postural muscles and those involved in maintaining good back posture whilst carrying the weight of the rider. Basically, it's like collection in reverse, as the horse shifts his weight back onto the hindquarters, strengthening those hindquarter muscles. Ideally, the horse should be encouraged to take long, marching steps backwards. Maintaining the diagonal pair movement, keeping the head down, and try for 10 to 20 steps backwards every day to have a really good effect. Movement of joints helps to stimulate the production of synovial fluid, which is vital for joint health. Therefore, it's really good to take all of the horse's joints through as full and varied range of movement as often as possible. It's like the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. And variety is the spice of life. Pole work is a superb way of encouraging the horse to use a full range of movement in different joints. A series of raised walk poles, like this, will encourage the horse to stimulate core muscle recruitment, as well as moving his joints, but in a careful and controlled manner. Raised trot poles encourage symmetry, as the horse has to push evenly from behind. And canter poles really help to increase the amount of flexion and extension, rounding and hollowing within the horse's back. If the horse is confined to a stable, it's important to keep the joints as mobile as possible. There are a variety of different passive joint mobilizations which we can do to help the horse maintain suppleness and are beneficial for maintaining range of movement. Joint supplements especially those that have a combination of glucosamine and chondroitin with guaranteed bioavailability, and that bit's important, can help to maintain joint mobility, reduce joint stiffness, and help with osteoarthritis. Make sure you choose a joint supplement that's recommended by vets and is backed by scientific trials. Many of them aren't. Joint supplements will be most effective in very mobile joints, for example, in the foot, fetlock, knee, stifle, hock and hip. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found the tips useful. Watch out for more in the future.